Okay, so I'm going to walk by. Uh, I'm going to walk by the uh, window here and see if I can get anybody inside the window. See if I can get people eating here inside. That's kind of cool. Well, it's kind of creepy, but it's also kind of cool. You just never know what you come up with. It's kind of neat. Boom. Okay, so we got everybody there. We'll see how they came out. Surely we got one or two of those. Just a smorgasbord of people. Hey guys, how we doing? We're back at it once again in downtown Indianapolis doing some street photography. Certainly do appreciate you tuning in and checking things out. If you like the video, please let me know. Please like, please subscribe, please comment, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, doing so uh, kind of gives me the enthusiasm and encouragement to keep these going. And I don't get anything out of this other than the satisfaction of, uh, of, of your comments, honestly. So uh, I do appreciate it. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to get more out here. So anyway, let's check it out and see what we got. All right, guys, we're getting started today. Rico GR3, we've got our settings, 1 500th of a second, F9. We are at uh, ISO maxed out at 3200. So we're on ISO auto maxed out at 3200 with a two meter snap focus distance. Two meter snap focus distance. We've got our JJC thumb grip. We've got our UV filter with our GA1 coupler so I can hold it like this or like this. So it's very cool or usually I shoot like this. So that's, uh, was he looking at me? That would be awesome. Uh, maybe so, maybe not. Oh, well, so anyway, that's what we're working with today, guys. And normally, again, I just kind of walk around like this. And the reason I shoot mostly horizontal is because, of course, of the YouTube channel. Otherwise, I'd probably shoot more vertical. Oh. All right, here comes Les Nesman from WKRP in Cincinnati. Only my older followers will get that one. And there we go, okay, cross the street. Again, I naturally go up and I should be going try to, oh, here we go, sunlight, yes. Yes, yes. No, oh, shadows, all right. Oh, sun. The weatherman was not lying. Well, it's supposed to be a little warmer, but I'll take the sun. What do you got going on here? This is where the uh, highlight weighted would probably come in handy. So I'm going to go back and go to highlight weighted. Okay, let's see what we get here. Feels like a good day today. Feels like I'm getting a lot of good shots. I never know until I get back home. This feels good today. Feels good. Feels good. Make it happen. And, and there's really no reason to be intimidated when you're doing this. People are looking at me because I have the uh, the GoPro on, but if you're just walking around like this and you're shooting from, if you're just walking around like this, see where I've got, and you're just shooting like this where the camera's here, 
nobody's really paying attention. You're just walking around like this. They don't, they have no idea. They may look down, but they're not, uh, I'm gonna turn around and get this guy. But they have no idea. Now again, I've got a GoPro on, so it's making it a little, a little obvious what's going on. Or even then, it may not be obvious. Let's see if I can get these, nope. I'm gonna get the birds, but a little too fidgety. Oh, that's kind of cool. There we go. Okay, guys, don't forget, you can also find me on Twitter now. I am tweeting. Not much of a tweeter, but uh, you, can, you can go there and find me. So uh, I'll start tweeting. Uh, maybe that's an easier way for people to get in touch with me. I'm not really sure. Okay, here, I don't want to shoot into the sun, so I'll walk this way, put them to my left. I usually don't like to put the street in the shot but i also don't want to shoot into the sun all the time although the new masking from lightroom as you hopefully saw in my recent video of lightroom classic editing the masking just changes street photography as far as i'm concerned the way that uh, you can pull people out of the shadows and whatnot makes it very easy to do So it's just basically I'm taking about two shots of everybody. I'm just hoping that they come out. See there, of course they would have been better if I had them right there, so my timing was off on, on this particular one. Let's see if I can get this one. Yeah, maybe a little better timing on that one. Practice makes perfect, and of course there is no such thing as perfect, and who really cares for such a thing? Okay, well nobody here. All right, people turn around, coming back my way. Couldn't ask for a better setup than that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. Just one shot on that. See how my target practice is. Oh, okay. Need to go. See, you don't want to shoot up like that. You want to shoot up. You, you act like you want to shoot to their faces. You got to shoot because you have a wide angle. You've got to shoot more level and it will get them, but you naturally want, feel like you want to shoot up and that's where you end up cutting their feet off and stuff. See, I got that guy's feet in there versus her. Well, I guess I did too. Okay. People, people, people. One good thing about the change of seasons is, you know, everybody's not walking around in shirts and shorts and t-shirts and all that stuff, so you get a little different look. There we go. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video with the Ricoh GR3. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Please like, please subscribe, and uh, do all that good stuff. Leave a comment. If you want to purchase any of this stuff, links in the description below. I do get a little, a uh, couple cents off each of those, so that does help. I do appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.